Hey ChemStars, this is Ms. McCauley bringing you your very first chemistry video. I'm just going to go over some things about how our classroom will run this year. Okay, so first of all, um, we'll be following all the school and district COVID policies. Um, I just want to take a minute and welcome you to chemistry, where we're going to be learning some really cool stuff, and tell you a little bit about me. So like I said, I'm Ms. McCauley, and then here are pictures of my, my two boys. This is Pickles, and that's Ollie the Corgis. Um, I'm originally from Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, I went to my undergrad at UPenn, and I did my master's degree at UC. And here's a really another cute picture of my pups. Aren't they adorable? Okay. Um, a little bit more about me. So two members of my immediate family actually have autoimmune diseases and are immunocompromised. So I just want to take a second and talk to you about um, kind of what's going on this school year. So if you've been paying attention to current events, you may have heard that the immunocompromised population are at the second highest risk of complications, hospitalization, and death. The new variant is also highly contagious and easily spread even if the infected person is asymptomatic. So I hope that you'll um, help protect me and help protect my immediate family by considering wearing a mask during my class. IOKILS masks are currently strongly recommended but not mandated. If you choose to wear a mask to help protect me and my family, I would like you to sit up front. I will have a supply of disposable masks up front for you to use if you choose to wear one in my class and didn't bring your own from home. Finally, one additional benefit that you should be aware of if you choose to wear a mask is that teachers must track each student and whether or not they are wearing a mask each bell every day for contact tracing purposes. Currently, wearing a mask will prevent you from being quarantined if you are identified as a close contact of a confirmed COVID-19 case even if that other student is unmasked. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, um, so remember, you belong here, and we're going to be going over all kinds of um, welcome back info during class the next couple of days. We'll be going over Google Classroom, um, doing some student surveys, and I want to take a quick second and talk about our chemistry book for this year. So yay, you're all going to get your very own chemistry book. It might look like this, or it might look like this. And it's going to have all of our handouts, our notes, our labs, our homework, activities, and it will all be here. Um, everything will also be available digitally on Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you that table of contents real quick. So when you go to your Google Classroom, I'm just going to use Bell 7 as an example. Um, and you go to your classwork stream. I've got some beginning of the year materials linked student survey, the weekly slides, schedules, mini lessons, and then I have our activity book. And so if you click on that, it will open up a Google Doc, which has all of the same info that's in your printed book. So if you don't have your book with you and you want to access something, you can click right here and it will pull up a Google Doc with all of that great info. We'll also be using Edpuzzle um, this year and doing a flipped classroom model where you're going to watch lecture videos at home and then in, practice, in class we'll go over and practice everything together. Um, and we'll be following the general school policies on bathroom passes, all that good stuff. And most importantly, don't wait to be great. I'll see you next time. Bye.